Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, back here in the studio, excited. Uh, actually, Gene and I are producing and writing this song for this male artist. So, man, it's a really nice, really nice uh, love song. Man, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be a nice wedding anthem. I'm telling y'all, I, prom I promise you, this is a, man, this is a really nice song. But I have to say this. Uh, basically, I'm uh, as a musician, producer, artist, everything. Everything I do musically is influenced by commission. I don't care if it's jazz. I don't care if it's rock. I don't care if it's hip hop. I don't care what it is. Everything I do always have a commission element in it. That's my biggest influence. You know, Fred Hammond, all that. And I'm talking about the commission starting back in like 1985. Uh, I'm going on a record. You know, there's a city in the distance. I can see it all so clear. The lights are shining brightly. Yeah, all that, all that, all that, all that. From all the way, uh, get back up in the saddle. Get back. Okay, let me stop. So, it's always been my dream to one day work with uh, Fred or anybody in that capacity. Mitch, I don't care who it is, but Mitch, Fred, Michael Brooks. Carl Reed, Michael Williams, that's my biggest influence on me as a drummer as well. But it's always, um, let me just get straight to the case, uh, straight to the point. Basically, we're working on this song, right? And so Gene worked with Fred. It was sort of like, it wasn't a bootleg way, but she actually worked on something about Love Album. We just happened to stop by the studio uh, just to be hanging with my bro, the late Marvin McQuitty Jr., and so they just needed somebody to hit this quick note. We didn't have no idea. And they said, hey, Gene, come in and sing this note. So it was like all of like three minutes. And so on something about love, what I think Gene is singing a part. Can't find myself. Okay, no, I can't get that high. But it's one of those, look, look on the credits. But in any case, this is what's crazy. You know, we work with my bro, Eric Dawkins. e Doc. And just know that he has been a major influence on us. That's the closest that I've been to working with Commission. Because Eric toured with Commission. And he's a Commissionite just like I am. My wife Jean think I'm over the top. But I'm just telling her. Commission has made her better. When we met. You know. She's heard. She heard about them. Man do I got a big head? Okay. I'm just seeing all this head. But you know. Whatever. But in any case. So. We owe Eric Dawkins a royalty. We owe him money for this part. Check this out. I like commission. Rhythm to my rhyme. That's some Eric Dawkins, but he would keep going. Rhythm to my rhyme. So he would do something where he'd keep going down, crescendoing down some kind of way. But I owe him a royalty. But I'm going to let y'all hear this in context. All right, hold on one second. Okay. This dude knocking because they're doing housework. But in any case, oh God, please stop. So I'm going to play this as this relates to the song. Jean is demoing this as a male. She's uh, getting her male voice thing going because this song is for a male that we, uh, that we are writing this for. So, but check this out. This is how it relates. Right, check it out. Could this be real? I love to stand the test of time. Is it chance or fate that you're the rhythm to my ride? Well, either way. That's it, y'all. So, you know, man, I'm excited about this joint. I don't even know the name of it. I need to, I don't know. You got to put a title on it, but I'm just doing cleaning up some of the stuff, uh, vocal stuff, and we're gonna get this song out. Hopefully, y'all will hear it. Okay, stop knocking. I'm gonna knock back. Okay, I right, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.